Hey, John. Hi, Gary. How are you? Pretty good. Just got the stuff in today. Great. Great. Is it all there? It's all there. Okay. It's already been built. You're ready to go. Okay. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. You're listening to KPEP. The following is a public service message from this station and Washington State University Pesticide Education Program. Do you know how to transport pesticides safely? That's it, huh, Gary? Yeah, that's stuff. Boy, I've been here before. Gosh, I don't understand. You're listening to KPEP. The following is a public service message from this station and Washington State University Pesticide Education Program. Do you know how to transport pesticides safely? Hi, Gary. Oh. Ha haven't I been here before? Not in the last month you haven't. No? Okay. The following is a public service message from this station and Washington State University Pesticide Education Program. Do you know how to transport pesticides safely? Hi, Gary. Hello. I know I've been here before. Not in the last month you haven't. Either you're crazy or I'm crazy. Hey, John. Yeah, Gary. Don't forget your manifest. Oh, okay. Thanks a bunch. Hey, John, how you doing? Nice to see you. Good seeing you. Yeah. Hey, you give me a hand. I gotta get this insecticide yeah. up in the back of this you truck. Up and I'll hand it up to you. Oh, 
great. Thanks. I also have an extra tie down strap up front. Would you hand that yeah, to me, me too, please? Here. What are you going through all this trouble for? Oh, I just don't want all this chemical bouncing around on the back of this truck and spilling. So I'm going to cinch it down a couple of different ways. nice thing about it, Rich, it's not raining today, so I don't have to worry about a tarp. Normally, I'd have to tarp this. Well, it's going to be a nice day down in the river today. Yeah, it'd be pretty good. John, what's that complicated looking piece of paper you got there? Oh, it's a manifest. Uh, if it was a hazardous material, I'd have to have it for sure, but I'm just carrying it now, and anytime I got chemical in the back, if I ever had a wreck, something spilled, you know, these people would know what was in the back and what kind of material it was. Well, that makes good sense. It works. Before I go to the river, I'm going to drop this by the shop. I don't have any way to lock it up in the back, and it just wouldn't be safe to take it down there. So we'll just head to the shop and drop it off, then we'll go down to the river. Sure, that sounds fine. Man, it's been a long day. I swear I've lived it four different times. 